Everybody, I'm really excited about this. Just got this in a little ago. It was so kind to send me this T-Deck. It's part of the Mesh-tastic uh, devices that you can get. And I uh, wanted to do a really quick unboxing video of it here just to kind of show you what it looks like. So let's jump into it. Uh, the one thing I've always liked about the, the idea behind this one is it has the built-in keyboard with it. So, And uh, there you go. You can see what it looks like there. So most of these, you know, there's not not much to it. Like this one doesn't have a case. It's not they don't come in a case or anything like that. Uh, this particular version does not have a GPS, but you can add a GPS. So may look at doing that in the future. Yeah, just kind of looking it over. So not much to do with it, other than just. Uh, Digging out all the pieces here. Looks like they have an antenna here on the back. Power cord. And for the battery. Some jumpers here for one of the pinouts. And this is kind of an interesting antenna. Let's see if I can get it better down here. So it's saying it's a full band LTE antenna. Two different frequency ranges. Got the IPEX connector. So this one looks like they you just they just want you to tape it inside the case. Now these don't come with the case, but uh, like for me, I ordered this one on uh, Etsy. I had somebody. I don't have a 3D printer, but this particular case actually has a spot here. You could take this off. And put like a, a physical intent in one of the hard mounts. Otherwise, you could take this this and put it in here. But uh, I'm a big fan of metal in the air, so I'm going to take and uh, probably knock this out and put one of the little antennas on there. So this again, the the case doesn't come with it. So you can either get some instructions and print it off online, or just uh, you know order like I did. But uh, let's go ahead and dig into it. And uh, we'll get it put together. So, go ahead and get it mounted in this case. Case didn't come with any directions, but we never read them, anyways, right? <laughs> so, it looks like a couple. So I have to loosen that up a little bit. So you can see here, here's a close-up look. And I think I'm going to go ahead and run the antenna out the top. I don't know. Kind of indecisive about it. So we're going to go with this antenna for now. And I, I will say I kind of like the sleekness of it, but this device may just be living. Like in a pocket or something like that. So, as with most of these, you don't want to power it up without an antenna connected. You can see here is the, the lower chip, and so that's why this antenna IPEX connector is right there. And I don't see anything else that resembles that. I just, forgive me, I just want to double check and make sure I got that in there. So now... For the battery, kind of was hoping maybe I could throw some 18650s in here, but I don't think they're, they're going to fit. Sure. Nothing too crazy.
wished this would hold. 
So we're going to select our target device. Go down here to T deck, latest firmware. Let's just try this, the beta, and we'll go to flash. It's going to ask a bunch of stuff. Hit continue. This all looks good. So let's hit update. And it's looking for it here on the serial port. Taking a little longer than normal. Let's uh, let's go look at device manager here. When I plugged it in, it showed that it had a um, you know, that it installed it. It could have installed wrong. So I showed no errors. So let's go back. Pop up window now. Let's try it again. Well, see, it could very well be that I'm using. Looks good there, so let's check it here. Yeah, there we go. Gotta have the right cables there, buddy. <laughs> so now we're updating the firmware to the latest one. So now, now that we have the latest one installed, let's do initial configuration. So I'm hardwired via serial. I'm going to come through the web client, new connection, serial, new device. That's it. Connect and click the button there. So now I'm ready to start with the configuration. So the first thing you want to do is come to LoRa and go ahead and set your country. Mine's US. I'm going to hit save. As soon as I hit save, you're going to see it do a reboot. Now that we have the comes up, now you're gonna start seeing stations. You can see that MCOM appearing there. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just gonna come over here and rename it. So call the CW. And I took the reboot. <clears throat> so just know when you set the country code, it's going to reboot. And when you change the default name, it's going to reboot. And then honestly, almost every time after you do anything else, it's going to reboot there. It's like when you import in the channels, it's going to reboot. Just want to give it a little bit of time here. I'm going to hit reload just to double check and make sure. So even though it's the screen's on it, there, just now. So I think that's what I did last time was I rushed that too quick. Just connect in. So 
So starting to see some stations populate here. So let's go channels. And I'll have to get a QR. What I'll probably end up doing is importing it on my phone. I have a QR code that I save for all my channels on there. Uh, position. Again, I'll have to do this from my, my phone. Uh, there's not a module. I, I will probably end up trying to order that module and get that put in. Same time, I may upgrade that. I'm just kind of curious so to see how, how well it works. Just kind of looking through to see, I mean, it's, this is all going to be the same as the other ones. I'm just looking to see if there's anything special about it. We're going to change that. Hop limits three. There's the default. And the boosted receive zone. We usually like to do that. So device, let's just go back there. I think I'm gonna turn this to client mute. I don't want it really relaying anything. Uh, that'll help save a little bit of power. It won't ever be in a position to have that creative range because of that antenna for now. So again, when I hit save, you see it's gonna reboot. Currently, it's charging. That battery is pretty dead. And I may look at doing a, let me do, for upgrades, probably get a larger battery. Especially with this and having a larger screen. I kind of have that feeling that this battery won't last very long in there. I use, uh, currently using this battery on some, Helltech 3s, version 3s, and I'm barely getting a full day charge out of it. So towards the end of the night, I'm definitely getting alerts telling me the uh, battery's low. So. so saying that, I think I'll um, probably look at upgrading this battery. I, I'm enjoying carrying my Helltech. It's, it's pretty small. And... Uh, this may prove to be too too thick. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to carry it. But I wanted to at least get this program tonight just to see, you know. I'm going to take it with me as I go to work. So that's it. All right. So I did a little bit of investigating. So you got your scroll wheel here. And the inner key does the same thing. So this is on MeshTastic's website. So if, if, if this goes too fast, just uh, look it up. But the, there's an Alt button right here. Alt and the letter B turns the backlight on. So Alt B turns that off. Alt plus C is a modifier. C. So when you do that, you hit. The, you see the function comes up. So if I hit T. That is how you change who your messages is going to. So now I can scroll and come in here. I was trying to hit the backspace, hit the hit the enter. That person will love that. So, so again, that's uh, Alt C is the modifier. So like M is mute. I'm gonna do it again. Alt C M, and that turns the notifications back on. So Alt C plus T is how I change it so broadcast goes to everybody on that long fast channel and probably easier if I had the backlight on and just hit the enter key and my cell phone just alerted there it's the same one I'm using the film was so I can't show it to you but um, Alt plus C and O is, or is it a zero? Okay, O is bright, so I is, there we go. Oh, 
I only let you do it once, so let's do it again. Oh. That worked out good. So now you can see it just kind of beeped there. I was honestly wondering if it had. And let's, oh, C, T for tab. Let's go back to the Echo Golf. Let's see who sent me that. Enter. So Alt plus C plus the M is notifications. Alt plus C equals cancel. Alt and C plus Q equals quit message, can message, etc. So, so like, let's see. I'm kind of started a message here, so I'm doing Alt plus C, so let's hit Q. Yeah, so that worked. And I'm just at the regular screen here. Um, Alt and C plus T is tab key. That's how you select channels and direct message recipient. Alt and C plus I is decrease screen brightness. Alt and C plus O is uh, increase the screen brightness. I don't know if I just said that backwards, but so I'm going to go ahead and dim it just a little bit. Just to help save a little bit. Alt and C plus G is for GPS. And Alt and C, and it looks like a Spacebar sends network ping. So the function's on, spacebar. Yep, oh, there you go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I definitely think I'll be getting a um, GPS for it. I the, the whole purpose for the T-Deck was I wanted to operate uh, disconnected from my cell phone. I didn't want my cell phone tied to it. Uh, so that's, that's why I went with this. Having that ability to send messages and stuff directly from this really looked, uh, you know, looked appealing to me. So, so anyways, uh, that's pretty cool to learn how to get to change all that. Uh, so again, the things I want to do, I'm gonna uh, put a bigger antenna on it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, for now, it's relaying through all the nodes in the house, so it's working good. Uh, for, for sure, a bigger battery. I think I'll go ahead and order that to intend it just to have. I, I was, I'm going to sneak peek this for you. I got me some of these. And they're solar lights. And I was planning on mounting one of my nodes inside of it with the antenna off. But uh, I think I ran into that the other day, not having that uh, IPEX connector. So we'll get a couple of those in stock. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions... Leave a message. And as always, thanks. Leave comments, like, share. Appreciate your support. Thank you all.